What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. If you don't, I'm Davon Nelson. This is my, uh, I always say my lovely wife. Because <laughs> I'm waiting on him to say it. Janisha Nelson. Well, you already know. We are just the Nelsons. Uh, no, we've been on, I ain't going to say a hiatus. We yeah, just, we, we just had a lot of life things happen. Yeah, like real life <laughs> situations. You real. Know? So it's it's been real. So we just want to come to y'all because we miss y'all. Shout out to all our subscribers. Yes. All one million of y'all. Let's get to a million, guys. <laughs> Shout out all, all of you. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you for sticking around and continually to watch the videos we have uploaded. What you can expect from us now is more yeah. videos, more consistent content. Yeah, consistent content of yeah. behind the scenes like with our mm -hmm. life, what we do on a daily basis when we travel in, all sorts of stuff. So babe, where, where have we been? Let's share with the people where we've been. Man, the last six months of this year up until now have been a whirlwind. Um, <laughs> we had an unforeseen event happen this summer. Um, which Davon was away for almost two and a half month, months. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just me and the boys rocking it out till he got back. Once yep. he got back, we hit it hard in our business. While he was away, we found out we were pregnant with our third son, Jaira Elion Nelson, yep. which if you guys follow us on Instagram or Facebook or our other social media sites, um, which I don't think I put it on TikTok. It would just be Facebook and Instagram really heavily for us. You would know that... Um, 20 weeks, uh, we went for our ultrasound, which is the anatomy scan where you get to see all the little parts and things like that, only to find out that he did not have a heartbeat right. and he had fluid on his brain amongst some other things that they found um, within his little body. So immediately, um, my midwife sent us to um, be induced to the hospital right away um, and we'll talk more in depth and you'll see a video of just some, kind of some footage from behind the scenes with that in another video but long story short we got to have him naturally of course I was induced at 20 weeks but he did not have a heartbeat so um, it's just been you know us grieving really and yep. trying to go through the process of grief um you know a lot of why a lot of okay god i trust you okay god we're gonna have your perfect peace and then you get a wave of emotion so you know you guys we just been taking time to heal and and take care of ourselves because you can't pour to other people when your cup isn't full, right? So we've been taking care of family, which everybody knows. For us, it's always family first. Family first. So yeah, this unforeseen event is where we've been. And so to date, I am two weeks and four days postpartum. Mm -hmm. um, and postpartum means just uh, post you having a baby. So I still have to heal um, as if, you know, um, I actually had a full term baby because a baby still came out, you know, of where they come out of. And, um, you know, I'm still having to go through that portion. But again, it's just been um, great to be surrounded by my husband um the boys Gideon and Judah and letting them navigate their feelings with grief because they were so excited too as well as we were and um just family has been amazing friends have been amazing um you know sending us dinner neighbors have been bringing us dinner yeah. um the GoFundMe you know a lot of people don't talk about the process after um I guess he's considered a stillborn um or some people refer to it as a miscarriage but most of the time the doctor was telling us that that happens you know um earlier on so the fact that it was 20 weeks um and I actually was feeling him kick up until a couple days prior to the scan um we you know um assumed that he passed recent you know so um which 
for him to make it 20 weeks. They said that he was trying to fight and make it, you know, so it's just, you know, we, we had no idea. Uh, we didn't have any symptoms, any, you know, anything wrong. And we have two healthy other boys. So it's just one of those things that, you know, nobody can plan for, but we are, we've been navigating through it. On top of <laughs> coming back home and uh, the boys, like two or three days after we got home, which they did get to hold and meet their brother, um, and we got to baptize him at the hospital and had just a tremendous support from the staff and the doctors and things like that, um, which we'll talk about more in depth in another video. But we came home uh, for Three to four days later, Gideon had a fever, then Judah had a fever, then they got a cough, the fevers left, then Babe got uh, a tickle, then my throat started getting sore. And you can hear me, I'm still quite nasally and congested and hopefully on the tail end of whatever crud is going through our house. So on yes. top of trying to heal postpartum and grieve, we're also, we've been sick, so... Yeah, it's, it's been, been crazy, but you know, wow. you may say, well, how can they laugh and smile? It's just because, you know, it comes in waves, you know, and you have days where you're sad, but we don't sit in that. We talk about our feelings, share our feelings, cry it out, and then we move forward because we know that that's what he would want us to do. You yep. know, so we just been pushing y'all. So thank y'all for the patience. And, you know, some of you guys have checked on us, you know, uh, via our other social media platforms. And you can go back and look um, there as well. You know, we do still, we did create a GoFundMe for Jaira um, just to help with expenses and just the process of getting back home, um, healing up. You know, right now we're both pretty much, Davon's still doing some passive work with real estate. Um, not as aggressive, but, you know, um, he's still working that. And then I'm, you know, of course, a nurse. So I'm out of work right now um, until I get healed up. So we created the GoFundMe for people to donate if you want to donate money for food or you know to help with expenses and things like that so don't feel pressured to give but I know someone may ask so we can make sure the link is in the description of this video we'll probably keep it going for a while just because after um just sharing our journey we weren't gonna share it or tell anybody but then we realized we had shared that we were pregnant so we needed to go ahead and share and we were like maybe it'll help somebody else you know um but it's actually helped us more than what we could imagine because a lot of people have you know shared their stories and been really encouraging and you know it's people that we wouldn't have never thought that have went through similar things so mm -hmm. that's where we've been guys but you guys can expect us to start back posting videos consistently, no matter what happens, you know, we're going to be uh, posting consistently now, um, you know, I would say two to three videos a week, if not more. And yeah, guys, if you have friends, family, you know, um, need encouragement, this is the channel for you. Absolutely. And before you leave. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and slap that bell. Slap it. Slap it so you can stay up to date and follow Justin Nelson's. Bing! <laughs> follow Justin Nelson's. Follow and, us, guys. You know, just see how we live our life, and hopefully our life will inspire somebody else to live their life. Yeah. And see us just put the peace of... God on display, you know, this yeah. is what y'all see, you know, we love each other, and I, I can attribute our laughter, our peace, and calm through the storm on the solid foundation that we've built in our marriage, um, that's why I, when, when we encounter married couples and things of that nature, we try to tell them, make sure you take as much time as needed to build your foundation, because it's one thing to talk about the vows and everything in the beginning of your marriage, then it's another thing when you actually have to live out for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for sickness and in health. You have to live those. Those aren't just things you quote at the altar when you get married or wherever you get married. Mm -hmm. Those aren't. Those are promises. They say vows, but it, those are promises. And 
everything that we've been going through, I can say because we took time to build a solid foundation in, in the beginning of our relationship, it has allowed us to be able to sustain and remain friends, um, remain in each other's corner and not turn and look at each other as opponents. Um, so, man, take time to build a foundation in your relationship. It, you, it don't matter how far into it you are. Start building the foundation and take as much time. I, she know I cut everything off when it comes to family. Like, my family is everything to me, just same as her. You know, so y'all see us. Just know we are doing good. We are happy, and smiling. We, and we're still uh, starting our church. Oh, um, buddy. We were in the second phase when this happened. So we took some time, even from that, yep. to kind of stop, regroup. But um, we're pretty much uh, going to be... Um, I guess, if you will, social media pa social media pastors, and we're gonna look for like where we're from. We're from South Carolina, so we're looking for a warehouse because we met doing outreach, mm -hmm. and I should say outreach and social media um, will be our platforms that we you see us heavily in um, a few times a year here. Um, we will serve you know the community, and then um, other times you will see us. On um, could be TV, <laughs> um, and you can see us, of course, on our um, Redeem Nation channel. So, if you haven't already, if you're a subscriber here, go on over to Redeem Nation Church. Uh, YouTube page and go ahead and uh, like and subscribe and turn on your notifications there because everything inspirational whether it's marriage um, you know inspiration encouragement um, a word from God um, and just you know um, something to uplift your spirit it will be on that channel of course you will be able to find stuff here too um, just because that's just who we are you know mm -hmm. but uh, definitely just go there too and uh, help us get the word out about Redeem Nation Church. Yes. And that's it. Oh, tell them where the babies are. I guess if somebody's new, our channel's about faith, family, and fun. Yep. Pretty much. And, you know, we do a lot of traveling. We do real estate. We do cooking. We, you we know, lot. we do a lot. I'm vegan. You know, my family. I'm vagina. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but that's what I am. That's filet mignon's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> but John. But, but, yeah, we got two sons. And should I say three? Because one is in heaven. But two living sons. Gideon is four. And Judah is almost two years old. He'll be two in January. Oh and they are full of energy. Judah's watching Dora the Explorer. And Gideon's taking a nap. So, yes, you will meet yes. them, I'm sure, at some point from here on. Yeah. Yeah, anything else, Kelly? That's all I got. Your boy hungry. Yeah, me too. It's time to go get dinner. Time to go get dinner. All that right, way. guys. Well, thank you. We missed you guys. And thank you for having patience with us. We really appreciate it. And make sure you tell somebody to tell somebody to tell something about something that you just heard from us. Okay? Okay. Go and tell them right now. Why are you still sitting right there? <laughs> Deuce!